Hey, what's up, man? My name is Viktor Apostolovsky. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. I ship music videos. I DJ. I play a lot of instruments. Man, you name it, I can do it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. But not really, though. Like, I'm, I was born into this. Like, it's, it's in my DNA. All my parents, my grandparents, everybody's a musician. My brother also. So, you know, it's not like I really had a choice. It was, it was in my DNA from the start, and it was no backing down. And I'm really glad, I'm really glad it turned out like this, man. Because my parents didn't really want me to be a musician because they knew how hard it is and they knew what they had to deal with. So, so they didn't want me to go through it. But, man, when, when your DNA, when your nature calls, man, there's no going back. So, you know, I just, I just had to be who I want to be. And I'm really glad, I'm really glad I managed to do that because I tried a lot of things in life and I was good at, at a lot of things like sports, like acting or whatever, but I didn't really feel 100% anywhere except in music. And it's a really good way to express yourself. It's a really good way to pour your emotions out and you know, just to cope with life and everything that's going on. So I'm really glad I chose it, man. I really, I, I, I've been through hell, man. I, I literally been through hell to make it work. And I made it work and I'm really glad that I did because now I'm living a life. I mean, it can always be better, but when you do what you love, man, you just, you're just happy all around, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully, um, hopefully if anybody has any doubts in life and sees this video, this is my first message. Do what you want to do in life, man. Trust me. Like, of course you're going to be miserable at a point, but you will always be miserable if you do something that you don't like. So fight for what you like. Do what you love. And at the end of the day, man, it gets better. It pays off. Trust me. Like, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Well, if I have to say one person, that would definitely be Tosha Brojevski. Like... No matter who you ask in this country, he will be at the top of their list, man. He was just, he was just too good to be true, man. He was, he was a humanitarian. The way he, he spoke, the way he sang, the way his emotions poured out. He was teaching a lesson of love, man. And he was spreading a lot, a lot of love. And I know I cannot be like him, like in any way, but if I can do one thing in life, that's spread love. So I hope to spread his message across and, you know, just inspire more people because I was blessed to live when he lived and to, to, to hear him and see him. And, and hopefully I can, you know, just get that message to the younger generations because nowadays, man, everything is digital. There's not really a lot of love going on. A lot of a lot of fights, a lot of wars, a lot of, you know, a lot of conflicts arising. So hopefully, man, we can spread some love, spread some positive vibes, and make people dance and you know, just make life better overall. Well, it's a fairly simple song, man, but we still had a message that we wanted to get across to people. And a lot of them got it. Like, that's that's amazing, man. It's really dope. But some of them are still stuck on the description that I made in the video. And they take it literally, man. They literally searching for it in the lyrics, which is funny to me, man, because, like, music was not made to be little. Like, I hope they didn't get me literally when I said I could walk and I could talk. But not for real though, like uh, Superman, Superman is is all of us. Like we are all Superman, especially in these times, in these hard times, in this pandemic, where everything is so hard and we're going hard through it, especially us as musicians, where we can do a show for ages, man. And, and we literally had to be Superman to build our way up and, and, and win this fight. And then again, I said something about men's health, with, which got water stirred. And I never said that I had lyrics about men's health. I just said that I wanted to speak on it because nobody does. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, everybody speaks about women's rights and about gay rights, and black rights. And, and that's, that's cool. We should be talking about rights. Every fight for rights should be fought. 
But where are men though? Like there's a lot of good men out there suffering in silence and I really can't stand not to speak about it. Because I know how to express myself. I got my music, I speak a lot. I like, I, I, I pour emotions out, I don't care. But a lot of people can't. Because what kind of man you are? Are you a man or what? Man up, that's, that's all they hear. Since they were this young, like that's all they hear. You're a man, man up. Be a man about it. So I'm here to say to everybody out there, you're all Superman. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to have emotions and to spill them out. It's okay to talk about shit. It's okay not wanting to do something. It's okay not to be okay. You are not alone, man. We all here. We proud of you, dawg. Proud of you. You are Superman. That's what we want to say with this song, man. We made it very simple and we tried to make it funny even though a lot of people don't get the humor. But nevertheless, man, like, it's a message that we want to get across because as much as this is a platform for me to grow as an artist, I want to use it to actually make some difference and, you know, just bring good people up. Because, man, I know there are people out there struggling right now. And if I could help them, if they could hear this and feel better, I'll be the happiest person in the world. Cause I'm a super, super man. Super man. Man, representing my country will mean the world to me, man. Your vision will mean the world to me. Like, it's a, it's, it's a dream since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with it. I saw Tosha Proevsky out there. I saw everybody out there. Like, it was, it, it's, man. I don't even have the words to explain, but I live for that shit. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen myself on that stage, man. I've seen myself, I've, I've seen me dancing, singing, and doing everything, man. Like, it's, it's a dream. It's literally a dream, and I would really love to have the chance to fulfill it, because I know myself, man. I, the, the, the bigger the stage, the bigger, uh, the bigger the thing is, the stronger I get. And uh, I would really like to get out there and have my three minutes and try to dominate the stage in, in, the, in those three minutes and live my best life trying to do it, man. It's, I don't even know if they're gonna choose me, man, and I'm getting excited already. It's, it's amazing, man. Whoo, man, if I get chosen, I can't really talk about it now, but if I get chosen, man, I know one thing for sure, Superman costume is definitely on the table. I don't know how we gonna pull that off, but we, we, we gotta try, we gotta try. And uh, I do know another thing, and that's there will be no standing in one place on the stage. Like, I never understood that, man. You got the, 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 the biggest stage, one of the biggest stages in the world, and you just gonna stand there? Like, really? I think we stand it a lot as a country, and I think, that it's finally time that we started rocking the stage and started, you know, just moving across it and do something that we never done before. And that's what we definitely gonna do if I get chosen. Like, um, this song doesn't really allow you to wanna stay in one place. So having one of the best choreographers in the region as my brother that should be funny because we like I've, we, we've, we've collaborated on a lot of things like i've made a lot of music for theater shows that he done uh, but we never he never taught me how to dance and he's one of the best dancers around here and around the balkans i guess so he never really taught me how to dance so now i guess it's finally time that i learn a lot from him and try to make this thing like the best thing that we ever done ever on Eurovision. <laughs> oh man, if I start talking about fans, bro, like I was I was on the Macedonian Idol like 11 years ago and it was very famous. I was probably the most famous one on the Macedonian Idol. And I really like there were moments man where they could they were tearing my shirts off until I get from the store to the buzz that we toured with. And it was, it, we had some amazing moments, man. Amazing moments. But there is one moment that pops in mind right now. 
there was a professor at the music university and she called me after the show right when I fell off the show and that was before the super finals and she called me she was like hey I have a niece she's a really big fan of yours and she has a birthday right now so I would really like to surprise her if you could come and I was like yeah sure why not free gate you know what I'm saying <laughs> she, she told me when and where and I went there and I was standing in front of the door and she got in and she was like hey how you doing blah 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 and now I'm gonna call my present to get in so mind you I just got out and, and people were still emotional about it. They were crying their ass off before, on stage, off stage, everywhere. So they had no idea I was coming. I get in and I'm like, I'm, I'm coming in with a present. I don't even remember what it was, but I get in with the present and I'm like, hey girls, what's up? And I see this picture like one girl makes braids on another, one girl is eating cake one of them is dancing or something they're, they're all doing something different and everything stops and I'm used to screaming because when they when, when they would see me back then they would all be like ah, you know what I'm saying hysterical and shit and uh, I was used to, to positive screaming like I never expected they would cry like, I know I just got out but I, I hope that they will be happy to see me and everything stopped and then all of a sudden all of them at once start crying they they drop they drop everything down and they come and hug me and they cry and i'm like standing there like what is going on like what is happening this wasn't supposed to be the way to go like i don't what do i do so we sat down and everybody was beside me and they were all crying and my, my 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 professor, she was she was so confused, man. She wanted to make her niece happy. Everybody was crying all night, and I was like, I was I was talking to them. I was like, hey, girls, it's not the end of the world. I'm I'm having some songs made right now. The career just started. This was this was 11 years ago, man. So the career just started. Don't worry about it. We, we, we gonna have shows and, and gigs and everything. It's gonna be cool. And slowly they started to calm down, but it was a very weird night, man. Like, but yeah, man, I have a lot of, a lot of good memories from that period of my life. And I really, I would really like to make some new ones right now.